And I'm back with more Persona 4 of Golden. I feel really good today. Probably because I'm playing Persona. Um, this might date the episode a little bit, I don't care. But uh, today's also an exciting day for me because it looks like Lee and I are going to do more than just Legend of Gaia. She's offered to play Dino Crisis, which is funny because these are going to, that stuff will be done in advance and shown way before this because we're two weeks into persona recording so you're going to see the dino crisis playthrough long before you hear this but if you're wondering when and how i do these recordings sometimes it's a month in advance but anyway i've got social link time um something i should do before any of that though i don't have any money for it is uh while I'm in social link territory, the idea should be that I should be giving myself certain um, arcana. So all I have to do is grab an arcana from one of these and just go with it. So I've got Magician, Chariot, Strength, and Sun. So, let's see. I think I have Strength. Yep, I got two Strength ones. I also have Temperance, so I'm going to want to keep that because I have that available. We're now in the Social Link portion, so I can actually do other things. Um, let's go into Town first. But yes, now it's Social Life. Social Links! I love it! Otherwise known as Confidants in the... Uh, it, it was. It's an interesting concept because, like, everybody just calls it social links. That's. It's been that way since three. So for them to call them confidant links was interesting. I mean, it was a thematic thing for five's character, but nothing that I just go out of my way to care about too much. Um. Anyway, with this, I don't want to get rid of my characters that much, but. Um, I do at least want to get these, so, so yeah, I need a chariot. And, do I have a sun? No, I do not. That's Ku Sith, it looks like, or Ku Shi. Um... Do I want to get rid of Kushi just for that, though? I suppose. I mean, of the two, Sun is the one I'm going to be focusing on, so... Uh... It gets rid of Valkyrie, too, which I don't really need. Growth 1 is good. I'm going to want that. And you'll see why in a second. Uh, if you watch the playthrough of that, you'll know why. Um, I should have went Suku Kaja. Oh, well. But Rakunda works for that. Um, bleh. That dog's seen better days. Dog, lion, whatever. But yes, growth one. This is going to be something I'm going to keep on Personas going forward. Um, that means that that, char that persona will level up regardless of whether I'm using them or not. So, that's nice. And, um... Okay. So now I can just get Sylph back. So... I can just get Sylph back for cheap. Uh, it's using a lot of money to do so, but, I mean, I'm not doing any of the leveling crap, so I don't care. And I could get up Sars anyway, so it's cheaper. And then once I start doing uh, the next dungeon, I can get rid of these for the better ones. So now I should be... I should be set here. Strength, Chariot for Chie, Magician for Yosuke, and Sun and Templates. Good! So, that's taken care of. So, if I need to do anything for them, boom. Because, really, it's the time that's before the end of the uh, cycle, before the fog, and the time in between that and the next story bit is the social link component. Though a lot of the other stuff is going to be... 
This bus. Ugh. Oh. So it's not that day. It's Monday, Friday, Saturday. But as stated, it's basically just me putzing around until the game decides to do the story bits again. Similar to Persona 5, the game will kind of run on an automated thing where after a while in the story bits, you're going to be forced into the story. I'm not worried about it, though. That's what Persona has been since 3. I, I took a look at Persona 1 and Persona 2. Persona was a straightforward JRPG. It was a dungeon crawler. Persona 2 added in the characters walking around in 3D, but outside of the rumor system and other shenanigans, both of those versions of those games were still JRPGs. They didn't really have the social link element yet. This was a thing they started in 3, and this is what's really made... This is what's made Persona popular, really. And I know that some people don't like that, and they're just like, well, this is dumb, and I don't like it, and that's, per you know, perfectly acceptable. If you're not a fan of this loop that they're in, sure, I get that. But I consider this game, like, playing an anime, and... Uh, Persona 3 was like playing not a shonen. Uh, Persona 5 was a lot like that. Um, I would say 4 is slice of life because it's really goofy and the characters are dumb and there's some fun stuff to it, but it's not really serious. Uh, 3 is like playing a tragedy. 3 is like playing those super serious like Madoka Magica things. Like, oh my god, it is so goddamn bleak, it's not even funny. And that's irrespective of the version you play. I think in Persona 3 Portals' case, it's annoying that... Yo! It's like... I liked Fess more, and I wish they'd done it, but it could have been a... Th I think it was something like they made the source code, like they forgot or didn't know where it was, or... Much like Final Fantasy VIII forgot the source code, so they'd redo it from scratch. Like, if that's why we got the portable version instead of Fess, or if it was just a thematic thing, because this is the, also the PSP version of this game... Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think people like Portable that much, and the this is what got people talking, was, hey, Golden was awesome, it's the reason to play a Vita, right, you know. There's less reason to worry about PlayStation, or P3P. Female version of the main character in 3, I'm intrigued, because it adds social links with the party, which is neat, but... Yeah, I can understand the issues with that. But anyway, now that I have slime, I get extra points towards Chie's social link. And I'm going to be focusing a lot on Chie, so I'm going to work on it. Yeah, let's go! Yeah. And Chie is awesome. Chie is very awesome. Hmm. Mm, this looks like a good spot. <laughs> you know! for training. Also, it's going to be hard for me to do like Aaron Fitzgerald's version of this voice. I'm so used to Tracy Rooney who had more of a uh, of a deeper voice. You know, because Aaron does that. She had uh, Al, Al Cade and GU and Erica and Catherine, but she went... I'm guessing they changed actors in the golden version to more of a more of a nasal sort of tone and it's going to kick me. But yes, I get to voice act these bits. Okay. I need to hone my kicking skills. I won't be able to use them in battle. And I tried practicing at home, but my mom and dad yelled at me for putting a hole in the shoji. That's those uh, paper screens that they have as, as the sliding doors. So, still, now's the time to train, right? Yeah. You think so, too? Wow. So, uh, let's train together. No? All right. Yeah! That's great! Thanks! Uh, that thing... You know, from that time? I mean, when the shadow came out of me? I feel pathetic knowing there's another me. Makes me feel like I gotta work harder. All right. So I'm gonna do it! Between you and me, we'll be unstoppable! Yay! 
Speaking of training, I need to get better. I, I do DDP yoga on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I've mostly been doing it myself. If you have a workout training program and you stop doing that, you forget how intense those programs in those DVDs are. So I would highly suggest following those programs again, if you forgot. Because training by yourself, you're always going to go less hard or less long than you would for that. So Now, Chie, to be fair, I get the feeling she would train all day and not get sick, but what do I know? And Ooh, Rebellion. Oh, I like this. So Rebellion is um, critical hit rate for a character. Well, let's start today with Frog Leaps. Come on, you try some. Uh, Laters! Yeah. Chia is awesome. Uh, she was the first character I resonated with uh, uh, of Welcome this cast. Um, obviously, people like Naoto and Risei, I, I, <laughs> this entire cast is great. So it's, it's, again, we get into that whole waifu war situation, and it's like, it's dumb. They're all good. They're white miso. You used to think this would be the red me Ooh. Uh, there is a package of red miso, but it's far past its expiration date. Eat it. Your tongue hurts. Your eyes water from the odor. Your throat's burning. <laughs> However, you should be going to bed. Welp. Bye. The rain doesn't seem to be letting up. This is the, going to tell you that you have three days left to, f to save Yuhiko. You also have less... Openings for social links because stuff is raining or whatever days like certain characters are not going to be available So I have the money I can at least do one I don't have a lot So let's See if I have the money for this This is a rainy day. So a couple of things are going to be available one better fish in the pond Which I still haven't done and forgot to look up because I'm dumb um I, I probably need bait. That's probably what it was. So I'll look that up. There's also another thing I want to look up. If this guy needs a fish hook, I need to look this, this stuff up in between episodes. And he's not even here, so it doesn't matter. So, on that plan. But again, I have many, many, many days to do the one or two things I actually care about with that. So, whatever. Oh. Uh, this guy's here. You know about the midnight channel? When it rains in the middle of the night, look into an unplugged TV. The wonder of wonders, you'll see your soulmate on the screen. I don't know if that's true or not, but there seem to be a lot of people who believe it. Maybe I should try it myself. Hmm. Anyway, uh, following books. But yes, if you go through here and do this stuff. Ah, yeah. 3,000 yen, so I can do this two days at least. That's cool. I like spending my money in that way. Because this is important. Central Shopping District Chinese Dinner Aya. You has accepted the Rainy Day Special Mega Beef Bowl Challenge. If you want something awesome, you should check out the version of this in the anime. Because <laughs> in, in my version, uh, Johnny Young Bosch is the main character. And he just goes absolutely nuts for like the 20 seconds he gets to talk. Which is cool. You only will get to see that. <laughs> he just goes into this sort of zen zone and just goes nuts. You still can't see the rice. You suspect... You begin to suspect that this bowl was a portal to the meat dimension. We need to bring Chi. I think she could whoop this thing's ass. The amount of meat contained within is t truly staggering. In order to finish this bowl, you must have understanding of your limits, knowledge to control your pace, courage to, under to face un the unrelenting tide of beef, and the diligence to persevere against a colossal challenge. All of these traits are necessary in order to master the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. You are unable to finish this meal in your current state. So you need all five levels to beat this. 
You've tried your best to finish the rainy day mega special mega beef bowl challenge, and your personality has grown tremendously. Yay! Yay! Yay? I was hoping for expression, but I still got understanding. So yes, you come here on rainy days when you have money. Ah oh, yeah. Uh this is a this is a thing um they added to the anime. They added I think her name was Aika. So basically Cassandra Lee Morris, who ended up playing Morgana like six or seven years later, was just this character who'd be this like uh Uber driver basically and would show up in random scenes and just like here here's your lunch. So they added that to this version. Too bad she's not a social link. Cause that'd be pretty funny. Welcome home! Yay. But there's enough social links. Oh. Fucking sneeze. <coughs> oh. I hate it when I have no time to mute my microphone, or if I do, I'll forget to turn it off, so I just leave it. Cause I have to I don't have a button like some microphones have buttons on the microphone for mutes. Others have a little switch. I have it on my uh, Streamlabs OBS thing, so I, I really didn't feel like touching it. Um, but Nanako is still doing Nanako things, which is always neat. Um, sorry, now I'm all stiffly! Fuck. Alright, Sofa. Am I done with... Nope. Expert study methods. Let's keep on going with that. So it used to be a thing where you'd have to read either glancing through and get it done quickly, or doing more. Now they just said, it, okay, this is just sp specific amounts of days. Which is fine. Like, there's no way I'm going to finish all the social links. I know which ones I want to focus on. Mostly the, uh, it's mostly going to be, uh, the, it's going to be Naoto for sure. And Chie and Yukiko because they're the, they're the main party. Some of them are automatic. Anything else, like Nanako and Dojima, like, obviously, I'm gonna beat them. And I have to beat Marie. Everybody else is kinda... Mm, I'll do it if I have to. Yumi is probably gonna be a likely finish. But again, there's only so many days in this game, and you have to weigh your options. If you have a full playthrough, you don't have to spend time doing the stat buffs Yo! and stuff. Yay! Yay! Yukiko told me she'll be able to come to school again in two days. Oh man, I'm so glad. Don't be a dick. Come on, you know it's because we all did it. Um, oh, she's... Oh, actually, more like three of us and one animal thingy? That bear bit me. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give him time of day. Fucking Teddy. Anyway, what's up? Ah. Oh, cool. Hey. So this is when they come in from the screen that way, they will ask you directly. We've practiced today. You're coming, right? So I don't think it's any different mechanically. It's just the option isn't there anymore. I think you get maybe maybe you get more points, but still. Okay. Yay. Also, their mentalities will change depending on like what time through the social link they are like if you fall for them they'll start blushing or they'll be flustered if they're going through a very serious part of the social link they're not going to be as like happy go lucky in most cases so bear that in mind yay all right, just doing fundamentals all the time is a little boring, so let's try some real performing. We'll hold an audition. Everyone remember the line I'm about to say. After the audition, we'll decide roles and finish it with a five-minute skit. Got it? Now pay attention. What crazes me is not the light of the moon, nor the golden sea, but merely the trickle of your tears. You got all that? I'm not gonna repeat it. We'll start with you, come on. All right, let's go for it. Don't worry, believe in yourself. Okay. Then it went.
Yay. Cool. Next person. Uh, I'll do it. I'm confident I can remember. Uh, okay. Hmm. Uh. Okay. Um. Okay. She's always so good, it's scary. If anyone thinks they can do a better job than me, come on up. Uh, you don't have to say it like that. If only standing around flirting made you a bit- Oh! Come on! We all remember the line, so we might as well just do it, right? I think watching others is a good ex experience too, don't you? You're right, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, Yumi will be the protagonist. And she will be opposite you! Alright. Well, I mean, if it's between you, it's either you and me, and I'd rather just direct. Okay. You must play Yumi's husband in a short skit. I mean, eh. Do you have your lines memorized? You ready to go? <laughs> Don't be so tense, it's just practice. But I do want to take this seriously, so give it a shot, okay? Okay. Alright, well, I'll lead you through it. Acting is fun, isn't it? When you're acting, it's like you get to take on the life of another person. Not just yourself, not some Yumi Yozawa, but another life to live. I don't need lights. I don't need costumes. All I need is a role to play. All I need is not to be made. Ugh. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. If I keep talking, you'll end up forgetting your lines, okay? <laughs> well, let's give it a whirl, darling. Okay, I'm the role of the husband, yay. And... It's funny because I have kind of taken to this as, like, an actor in a way. Like, I've wanted to be an actor on occasion. I just never went through with it. I've done some improvs, but not anything super serious. So I've said before that getting a chance to be a voice actor in these games, even if I'm just following a script, is something that I do at least try a little bit to put my heart into. And it's not perfect, and I readily admit that, but she's right. There is something about being able to inhabit another character, and that's why, you know, D&D, &D, I'm in the same mode, or that's why I spend so much time talking about, like, this voice actor's been doing this, and they're really good, and they should get some more respect, because, again, not everybody gets the respect that I think they really deserve. Depend it's ir irrespective of what genre or whatever, unless you're like the top tier of top tiers. That's great, but there's still a lot of quality people that spend a lot of time and effort. And, you know, unless they're a complete dick about it, and we've seen ex examples of that, but I won't get into that here. A lot of people are awesome people that are actors for real, and it's, it's striking what it can do, what it can stir emotion into. So I fully understand what she's like. All right. You want to ad lib a kiss? Um, okay. Uh, hey. That's cool. Also, it is true. It is a true thing that... Welcome home. Hi, Nanako. I kissed a girl. You what? What's a kiss like? You'll find out someday, but not from anybody like us. You might be a little young for that. You'll learn someday. Okay! I'll go back to watching a quiz show. Oh, it's Juness! Every day's great at your Juness. See you next episode.